Guru Nanak takes us to this next place where he describes Akri Nam. Akri. Now, again, Akri is actually, a, a, it's not only a word that means word. It's the sound current of the word that means word. Okay, and why is it Akri? Well, because it's a sound. It's not just a word. Akri is a, is a sound current. So what, what is that sound current? Well, he starts out by saying Akri Nam. So it can be word or words, and I'll use that interchangeably here. But Akri, and, and literally it means words in this case, Nam. So words are names, literally in the simplest of sense. So words name things, okay? But then again, if we think about this in terms of a universal and you know an infinite reference, we see that words are, are this vibration where there's no separation between the word and what it identifies. So words are nouns, words are names, and they identify these countless infinite objects and experiences in the universe. And then Guru Nanak says, Akri Salah. So, and this is a, a word that uh, comes from the Arabic in, in Persian, Salah is praise. It, it's a, a, a Salam Aleikum. So it's the same, uh, the, the word is the same derivation. And it's interesting to note that in Gurbani, we have a complex compilation of languages and, and roots of languages here that the gurus are, are immersed in and in, in, in both physically and culturally and that are part of Gurbani. So Akri Salah, words are all we can say to express this ecstasy of, of praise and an experience that we have of God and, and the sense of being in our lives that that is infinite. And then Guru Nanak says, Akri, these words, this vibration is, is Gyan, which is wisdom, knowledge, Gita, which is songs, Gunga, and Gun is virtue, and Ga is like a, a depth, uh, a, a measurement of depth. It's, it's the deepest of depths. So words are, are, are wisdom, Words are contained and they, they are the composition of the structure of song and they're the essence of deep and the deepest of virtue. And all of this um, goes so deep that it, again, it can't be measured. So Akri, Gyan, Geet, Gurnaga. Words are all of these things. And some more Guru Nanak then goes on to say Akri, Likan, bolin, ban. Akri, the words are what we write. It's what's written. Uh, in this context, in a physical sense, what's written. Bolin, ah, I'm, I'm wording right now. You know, this is, we're doing words. And uh, we're, we're communicating. We're exchanging words. And this is what Bolin is. We're, we're speaking and we're, we're exchanging consciousness, concepts, ideas, thoughts, uh, uh, its emotions, its colors and context. It's, it, has a, it has an indescribable effect on the brain, something that is so advanced we can't describe even in, in scientific terms today. But we know that what's going on here is something that is that is magnificent and, and incredible in this exchange of spoken words. And then Ban, what is Ban? Ban is, is, a, is a kind of, uh, in, in Gurmukhi and Gurbani, is you can think of Banis as, as the words of the Guru as an instruction. So Ban is instruction. So these words, think of it in a primal sense. Again, I'm using my imagination here, a little bit riffing on my own thoughts. Ban. Think of myself as a, as, a, as a very primitive human being. And what's the first thing I'm going to communicate? Go, stay, you know, um, sit, 
eat, you know, whatever it might be. But ban is a kind of instruct. It's a command, really, if you think about it in that sense. I'm communicating or you're communicating something to me that is an instruction. It's at the, it's at the root of every communication. There's an instruction. And this is what Guru Nanak is sharing with us. So every word is an instruction. And fascinatingly, if we, fascinatingly, if we think about that, it's both an instruction to the listener as well as an instruction to the speaker. 